Hey now! Yeah! I'm coming at ya! Do you win? You always win, Noun! You're certainly the first person to show up, if that's what you mean, but you, you, you're, you're a winner! You, you're a winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, sheen dinner. Okay. Alright, let's get the, um, the word out. Nope, wrong channel. Ba, 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 ba. I fucking love the music in this series. So what's up, man? <clears throat> Are you talking about that Game Boy printer thing? Basically, nothing's up, which is awesome. Hey, no news is good news, right? Ooh. I want to begin the game, but I also kind of want to, like, rock the fuck out. With this East 3 music. Alright, let me post on uh, social media. Nothing's up with you either for once? Yeah, Nansen. I mean, you know what's up for me? We made. Me and Mom made an interesting take on cottage pie. That's the only thing that's up with me. <laughs> hmm. We didn't have any carrots, so we put. Um, Gondules, which are like pigeon peas, in with the meat. And instead of doing mashed potatoes, we did like scallop potatoes, as I'm sure you guys saw in the, the picture. And we didn't have uh, pie crust ready to go, so I just I made some from scratch, which always tastes better, in my opinion. You have a favorite boss battle song from the East series? It's a centipede fucker, right? From East Origins? Well, I mean, he's... The Centipede Fucker's been in a bunch of East games, but the most memorable encounter with it was East Origin. You know what the thing about the East series is, like, th there, there's no bad music in it, like, Probably the weakest soundtrack in all of them was, like, 4. But 4 is also my favorite East game. So it's like... And that has the weakest soundtrack, go figure. But it's still great. Alright. Uh, emulator's up. Okay. Yeah! Coming at ya! Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna play the intro, and then we're gonna get this shit started. Let's get it started, bitch! Here we go. I don't care how young you are. I'm going to kick you in the head repeatedly. Ah, brutality! I didn't even know I could do that shit. That was awesome. You've never played East? Yeah. Oh my god, that's fucked. 
Oh, that's what I called it? Shit, I'm funny. After she ate the pitchfork, she ate like three tons of beans. And then as she was standing here, she blew it out her ass. He's not even a weenie, he's a full wiener. Like a weenie is like wiener in training. But he's a full wiener. She do be whack. Dog gives you no doll. Poop me an egg barrel. Poop me an egg barrel. I never thought I'd hear that or read it. Well, I heard it because I said it. I read it and I said it and I heard it. Your mother. Why did I go for the low poke when I knew he was going to do that shit? Drink the Kool-Aid! <laughs> that is legit a Chozo statue. It's it's a Cholo statue. It would be like, uh... A goose walked up to a lemonade stand And he said to the man, rotting the stand uh, 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 And then the guy died. Ball farts is the insult reserved for dong lords. But only the biggest dong lords are ball farts. Like, all dong lords are... All bullfarts are dong lords, but not all dong lords are bullfarts. If that makes any kind of sense to you, then you're you're crazy. Your mom is covered in white sauce and has a crispy bottom. Okay, just show me what it looks like. I will smash you like a clam on my. I don't get. Bro, let's do this. And that is true. All dong lords are dong lords. It is, the thing is shaped by itself. You never finished the <laughs> side quest. Neither did I. I. Really? You're gonna do this right now, right when I'm starting? I see how it'd be. Why you gotta be like that? Like seriously, dude. Like, why, you're just gonna keep doing that, huh? That that's the way it's gonna be. All right. A message from Gibbs. Oof. Hi Terry. Hi Gray. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. There's a lot of stuff in uh, Bloodstain that I would like to go back and do. I just haven't had the time. Uh, so let's, let's, let's get her. I said Rustini Mine, from what I remember. Uh, continue. Was that the right button? Yep, here we go. Deal. This should be right outside the mine. Okay. Whoa, hello. Asshole. Okay, let me just, uh, look at my inventory real quick. Oh, wrong button. So, I have a heal potion... Alright, that's all the fuck I have, really. Okay. Oh wait, did I get the did I get the silver armor? I think I did. I get the silver shield too. Shit, dog. Shit, my doggy. Not missing this one. Might catch. Might not catch next week's. So. Oh, well, I haven't made the schedule for next week's, so but it'll probably be, you know. Very similar. Oh, dude! This friggin' Gumby guys, man! Now I gotta run out and heal. This motherfucker looking for Pokey. Gibbs is too excited, that's real. Cactuars, yeah. I guess they're like Cactuars. Cactuars are annoying. I don't think in the, in the modern remakes, it's you have a bit of a wider like view. It's not like super visible in here, but it's better than this. But I kind of like the atmosphere that this creates, you know. You can't hear the music too well. Uh, hold on a second, Gibbs, get off of me. Give me one second. Let me pause it before I uh, try to do anything crazy here. All right, I just pumped it up a little bit. Gibbs, get off of me. I mean it, dude. You need to give me a little bit of space right now. I don't know why you gotta be like this. Is that better, Nensen? Okay. Cool. Level up. Okay, that's a treasure chest I already got. I think there's another one like not too far from here, no? Wait, oh, worm. Level the fuck up, that's real. 
Got him. All right. Oh, I already got that one, too. Did I get all the treasures on the first floor? We'll find out. Who's who's Billy? Something I would say. I've been saying level the fuck up for like my entire Let's Play career. Level the fuck up is the way I usually say it. Alright, oh, alright. Ah, I got all three treasures. And the big old doggos think they're lap dogs. Well, he actually wasn't trying to drop into my lap, which is good because it's irritating. He was trying to, like, um, like rest his head on my uh, knee. And I'm like, no, not right now, dude. I saw a Gumby. I, I, I ain't worried about it. Another Gumby. Oh, God. All right. One too bad. One too bad. I do have a heal potion if needed. Where am I? Oh, my God. This is like... Wait, hold on. Hold on. I think I know where I am. Yes. Okay. I can walk through here. Okay. God, Adel gets so close to the end of the screen. There, that's nutty. Like, Adel, stay north of the middle. Oh, God. Visual's a bit crispier here than when you record a Let's Play off a Wii, pump through an upscaler. Yeah, I mean... I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna heal here. Because I don't wanna... How do I... Yes. There we go. Okay. That's a little better. Um, let's go this way. Printers in general, or are you talking about like the specialized printer that you were looking at? Oh. You know what, with Terra Enigma, what I want to do is I want to do the whole um, trilogy of... Because I had previously done... Uh, whatchamacallit. I did Illusion of Gaia, but I didn't do Soul, uh, Soul Blade. Not Soul Blade, what do you call it? Soul... The first one. And I haven't done uh, Terra Enigma. I want to do like the whole thing on stream. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got a heal ring! Oh man, if I could have made it here. Alright, hold on. Let me, um... So if you equip that, it lets you heal in places that you normally can't. Alright, I'll put the shield ring back on. Or armor ring, as it's called in this version. Well, East 2 was very maze-like, you know? Hey, Wayne. And by the way, welcome to the stream, Wayne. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna go... Down this way, I guess. Oh, I need to find the silver harmonica and the rota seed. Oh god. This is a very easy version of East, even though it's like creeping me. Oh no no, okay, I'm too low. Too slow. East two can get infuriating. Hi, wait, I mean hi Wayne. Ha ha. The the collision detection seems to damn it, Scyther. Seems to very much favor Adel, which is fine by me. Uh, let me... Give myself a break here. I can't believe how fast he heals, too. Look at that. Well, Solomon's Shrine is the biggest mess uh, in the game, yeah. But you, you're meant to take it on, like, little bit by little bit, you know? Oh, there we are. Let me kill this guy, though. Shut up, Gibbs! Jesus. Alright, um... Let's go bring Re her harmonica back. Get the hell out of here. There's no reason for me to stick around right now. Yeah, Solomon Shrine is something that you're meant to do in, like several like you it's the final dungeon of the game not counting the core of east get off of me gibbs and um it, yeah he's all like worked up about something i don't know what, what his problem is 
you know, and the Core of East doesn't really count as a dungeon, I think, but, um, but anyway, my point is that, um, it's meant to be something that you do over a period of time, like, you take several trips into it, like, probing raids and mapping it out and whatnot, you know. Do you remember back in the day when we were, like, you, you know, when we were, like, expected to get, like, graph paper and draw out maps? And, like, part of me kind of still misses that. There was a, a a game for the DS. Well, it was a whole series for the DS, but I only played the first one. It was a, it was a dungeon crawler called Etrian Odyssey, and my friend Brandy got me into the first one. She wound up getting, like, super into the series and bought, like, all of them. And is, like, a huge fan of Etrian Odyssey. I only played the one, but I should probably, like, play the rest of them at some point. But anyway, the reason I bring up Etrian Odyssey is kind of the cool thing about it is that you uh, could draw yourself a map using the stylus as you go through it. You were expected to do that. Uh, you know what? I am only 50 experience points from leveling up. I'd like to do that before I leave this place. Ah, it's freaking... Gumby motherfuckers. Oh, I'm only getting two ex two experience pop. Never mind. I'm just gonna go. I'll kill these two though. Bitch ass motherfuckers. Hey Nick, how's it going, man? Ain't, you, ain't seen you in a bit. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba nah, get away from me, stupid wolf. Glad to hear it. Heal. Okay. All right, let's head back to um. No, not this way. What am I thinking? We'll head to um, where Rhi is, because she's the one that needed the harmonica. Ba 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 ba. So now, I don't, I don't know if you saw, but AJ did say that they they got there safely and everything. And I imagine they're gonna want to sleep for forever. But I, I'm kind of like so excited for AJ to come back online and, and you know, not be in the hellish landscape that is Ohio anymore. Yeah, I know, aren't the graphics in this, like, so clean? And, I mean, I love the East games, they all have really good graphics, but this is, like, you know, for, this is impressive for Turbo Graphics, and I just realized that Re is in the upper right-hand corner. At least that's where I think she is. There she is. What? You found my silver harmonica, how can I ever thank you? I cannot offer you much... But let me play a special tune for you. Please remember these sweet notes when you think of me. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Level up! Level up! Whoa! Here is the book that Sarah left with me. Well, you know what? My emulator, which is, yeah, which is, uh, guys, so the Tolbo volume of the books of these, um, it, it's honestly on the default settings. Like, I don't like to do, like, a whole bunch of, like, filters and shit. Like, I, when I'm playing a game on an emulator, um, I like to play the games as close as I can to the original experience. Sweet notes. <laughs> Thank you very much. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Um, Gibbs, what are you doing? Oh, all right. There's no bottle caps for you. Gibbs, there's no bottle caps. Here, let me take the bottle away. It doesn't have a cap. You can't get the cap off of it because there's no cap. The frame meister occasionally needs tinkering. I understand that. So we're going to head back into the mine because I want to get the rota seed, which is on the third section of the mine. So I can get the silver sword. Ah, screw that guy. Did you get your bomb, buddy? Okay, he's got his bomb. He's just looking for something to chew on, that's all. Gibbs is very much a power chewer. He enjoys chewing on stuff. Oh, wrong way. Ba, ba, ba. The settings you had for Eason, we made Halo 1 and the Xbox a bit washed out. I mean, yeah, that's the whole thing. Where you gotta worry about settings and whatnot. All right, um, I think I can head this way. Ah, yeah, screw you, Gumby. Yeah, 
It juked the hell out of the wolf, yeah. Oh, I'm too far to the left. Gumby Cactuar motherfuckers, that's real. Wait, I think this is the right wall, so I gotta go down this way and kill the stupid crawler. Alright. All these enemies have names, too, and I don't really remember any of them. And oh, Damn it, that is... No, I'm in the wrong spot. Where is the damn... I think I need to go further up. It still has the best best music. Like, what do you mean? Like, best music of the series? Or, like, best music of um, the East? Or, or best music of Turbo Graphics? Or do you mean the mine is the best music in this game? Yeah, this is where I need to go down. Best music of literally everything? I mean... Yeah. So is it Nensen? You said earlier. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the dog. That you'd never played East before. Do you do you like Zelda? Because there's a lot of correlations between the two. And while you don't get to actually like swing a sword around in the first two games, uh, and all the rest of them you do. Let's just put the heel ring on. And give myself a break. Mm -mm -mm. This version. Mm. I don't know. I am really attached to the the rockin' stylings of the PSP and Steam version, especially when you hear how beautiful Solomon Shrine from East 2 sounds. East 5, no, East 3 was the first with an attack button. Because remember, it was side-scrolling. Okay. Now, the, the place to go next is actually really close to here. So I'm just gonna... But you know what? Um, I just realized that... There's like an, a whole other um, treasure chest that I didn't get. Yeah. In East 4, um, both versions, the initial versions of it were more like this. But then um, later on, they... Uh... But they remade East 4, it has an attack button. Alright, I'm not exactly sure where I am, but I think I know where I am. Okay, wait, here's the really thin part. Okay, and I go this way. Because there's like one treasure chest on this floor I don't think I got. Oh, God. Jesus. Icebreaker strawberry. <laughs> what? Screw you, guy. There, yeah, that's what I came for. Uh, the Rota Tree Seed. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go get the sword now. Why stick around, right? Because, I mean, th there's one more floor, there's a couple more treasure chests, and then th we fight the vampire. Which is, for, you know, in the in the modern versions, the vampire is really hard. Uh, but this has been a very easy version of East, two, East 1 and 2 so far. So I'm not, like, super concerned with it. I think I'm at a good level, too. And you can't really even hurt him without the silver sword, but... Yeah. Well, part of it is that it is fairly easy, Nensen, but part of it is that this is not exactly my first time playing East. Like, I know how to attack enemies without taking too much damage, you know what I mean? I know what I'm doing. Because um, I first discovered this series on uh, the Famicom. Believe it or not. The trick is... That if you hit the enemy... See how I was not face-to-face -face with him? If you hit the enemy slightly off-center, Adol's more likely to deal damage than less likely to take damage. Now let me heal. And, okay, here's the thing, though. The one problem is I don't really exactly know where the Rota tree is. So, I'm just gonna... Equip the Rota tree seed and... Just look in the general direction of where I know it is in the remakes. Which would be south of here. Here's the lake. Isn't it right to the left of the lake? I mean, oh no, the map's so much smaller than the remakes. I'll look around. Screw that guy. 
Is this the road of Trey, I wonder? Yeah. Destruction will once again plague the land of Ys. Violence will reign chaos. I can feel it in my roots. It is time for you to set out on your journey, young man. Godspeed. A shining light flows out from the roots of the tree. See, there are other trees that look like this in this game, but like in the remakes, the Rota tree is massive. It's like, it's like Yggdrasil. But all right, oh, that wolf is coming right up on me too, look at that. So we have the Silver Sword. Aha, screw you. Favorite East song found? Hold on, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make it a thing. Oh yeah, Scars of the Divine Wing. This is Noun's favorite song in the series. We'll play it for a little while. Metal is fuck coming at you. Rockin' tunes, yep. Have you played East Origin, Gray? Well, I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but... I just wanted to play a little bit of it. Okay, we're going back to the game, just because I really want to play. Just this 5 and 7? Oh, okay. Um... What was I gonna say? East Origin is interesting because it's it's obviously it's the only one that you don't play as Adel because he wasn't born yet. But um, the entirety of the game, other than a few cutscenes in the very beginning, take place completely within Darm Tower. And there's three different playable characters. Arc of, yeah, Ark of Napishtim is interesting because they removed the number from it when they localized it. Like it was E6, the Ark of Na Napishtim. But then when they localized it, they just... Oh, God! They just called it East, the Ark of Napishtim. I think only the initial PC version in Japan had uh, the number. Sorry, my hand wasn't really on the controller there. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, the entire game takes place in Darm Tower. Uh, wait. This way. Screw you, guy. Stupid Gumby Cactuar-looking motherfucker. Hmm. Tell me what to do, motherfuckers. That's like Darm Tower in its prime. It's got a really good story to it, too. Hey, Terry. Lurker lives matter. Hold on, what do you say? You know that Mission Impossible, the Game Boy Color, can use the Game Boy Color infrared as a TV or suit. No, I've never heard that before. I don't even know why that would be a thing. Uh, there we go. Uh, what level am I, by the way? Let me look at this. I am level 16. Wow, okay, not bad. Uh... No, I need to go further up. Or maybe not. No, I don't need to go further up, do I? Okay. Unica was the most fun, in my opinion, because... Oh, no, I am in the wrong spot. Unica was the most fun. Because she played like Adel. I'm a, I'm a little kerfuffled right now here. I need to get further to the right. Here we go. Okay. Trying to do this without a legit map is terrifying at times, but... For East 2, I might need actual maps when we get to the, the part of this game that represents East 2. Because this is basically a super cut of the first two games. Um, I'm definitely going to have maps up for... Um, definitely for... Um, whatchamacallit, the Ice Wall. And uh, absolutely for Solomon Shrine. Ever play the tournament arena game called One Must Fall? No, I've never played that or heard of it. It sounds like it's like um, like the Transformers movie. One must rise, one must fall. 
Alright. Alright, let me give myself a break here. Uh... Screw you, huh? Okay, so the way down is actually right, like, pretty close by. It's like right here-ish. Cypher! Okay. Ah! Stupid phoenix. It's the dork phoenix. Oh. You're surrounded by friends. All gaming nerds each. If, if there's a game I haven't heard of, somebody else has heard of it, I guarantee it. <coughs> Alright. Where's the treasure chest? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I know what I did wrong. Uh, I gotta go a little further down and then go left when I can. Here. Okay. This should bring me to it. I think. Cheese ball rolling in, and I got the darm key. That darm key, the cheese ball, the dairy droplet, the gouda globule. All right, let me let me heal. How you doing, cheese? We're just uh, we're enjoying a little little east one and two as like a supercut. All right, so I got the darm key. Uh, there's one more item to get, which is actually on the way to fight the vampire. So, so I just gotta go this way now. And it should be pretty linear. Oh god. Get out of here, Giratina. Alright, so I should probably see the treasure protest somewhere along the way, right? Or is this Is that No no, that's that's the wrong way. We gotta go. That's the right way. I wanna I need to go this way. Screw you guy. Da 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 Oh it's just a heal potion? That's okay. I don't mind having that. I used up the one I had before, because I didn't have the heal ring yet. Screw you. You some of the Pokemon designers are East fan- Well, look. It's hard to run into any JRPG maker that wasn't influenced by games like East and Hydlide and, um... Dragon Slayer, you know? Uh... We're almost there. We're almost there, I think. Wait. Am I going the right way? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, okay, this part I recognize. Alright, let's save it before we go in here and fight this guy. Uh, this is my least favorite boss in the remakes, at least. So, yeah. Let's do this. Come on. Okay. Without being able to move diagonally, this is going to be... Oh no! He nailed me. Wow, I didn't even hurt him. Holy shit. I hate this boss so much. Hold on, I have all the silver equipment. Oh, okay, alright. I hate this guy, he and he's not any easier in the new versions. In the Steam version of East 1, uh, doing him a nightmare, worst part of the whole thing. Well, alright, I hurt him, but he hurt me. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. No, I'm dead. Well, fuck. This is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? Yeah. God damn it. And every boss so far has been such a fucking breeze. That's with the shield ring, too. You know what, maybe... Because if I get hit, I'm going to get wrecked anyway. Let me try the power ring. I hate this fucking guy. And without the ability to... Fucking... I didn't do much more damage. This 
speedrun. Well, there's probably a bit of a trick. Like in the in the in the modern versions, there's more of a trick to fighting him. Because when Adol runs into an enemy, he generally bounces off of them a bit. I'm gonna leave my equipment the way it was without in this one he goes through them, which is just kinda. There is a tactic, I just don't know it. I just have to find the specific part of him that is more vulnerable. Oh god! Okay, well. I definitely did more damage attacking him from behind. But he, he still wrecked the shit out of me. Gray, what level were you when you did the vampire? Why does it keep putting me on the menu? Wait for when he spreads his wings. Oh, okay. See, that's not a thing in the... Dude, that was worse. I, you notice I did not I did not hurt him at all that time. I'll try it again, but what the fuck? Um, stop putting me on the menu when I Jesus. Because that's not like in the in the the Steam version, you have to hit him like as soon as he solidifies, because he doesn't stay solid for long. I really don't like this fucking guy. Come on, you fucking... Twilight son of a bitch. Yeah, alright. Waiting for him to spread his wings... Just means that I don't hurt him, it seems. Okay. So let me... Let me, uh, try... Try doing it more like I would do it in the remakes. Which is, you want to hit him dead center... Like, basically, it, you gotta, like, hit him in the dick. Which is difficult. Because he's got a very small dick. Ah! I didn't even hurt him. I'm not even understanding... Like, this guy's hard in the Steam version, but... He's not like this. Didn't even touch him. You think I should just level up Wayne? Let's try that. Let's just level I mean, the enemies here are not, like, super difficult, and I'm close to a level up, and I'm not... Yeah, you're right. And it's, I have unlimited healing with that ring, so... I just want to know what, what uh, level... I might as well put the healing ring on, actually. I want to know what level uh, Gray was at when he killed this asshole. I mean, you know, yeah, you're right. I'm not far from a level up at all. Although it's going to go slow because these en I'm stronger than these enemies, so I'm not getting a lot of experience for them. I'm getting two experience per. But that only means to kill five more. External drives being a bitch. Why don't you just look at it on YouTube? Come at him from above. Once I, I didn't see it. I'm not ignoring what you said, I just didn't see it. I mean, I could try that. It's certainly try a triable. I just wanna, I wanna do it. You know, like if I'm this close to a level up, I might as well just level up. Screw you, one more. There we go, all right, that's a level up. I'll try that though. Like I said, in the like in the Steam version, what you really want to do is hit him like basically in the dick, like straight on between his legs. Go for it. Uh, let's save it. That's the wrong button. Like, with the, a little amount of damage that I was doing, you'd think that I didn't have the silver sword or something. Well, okay, yeah, that did nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna try. How is it that I'm not hurting him? How is it that I'm not hurting him? Gray, where are you, man? 
You've played this version of E-Swan. Oh, that's it. That's the trick. You gotta clip him. Alright, so I gotta treat him like he's a normal enemy. I got it. I clipped him. That's what you gotta do. It's the opposite of what you do in the Steam version. Yeah. Okay. One more good... Oh god, he's gonna... Freaking... Alright. No, alright. That, that wasn't so bad. I, I lost, but I figured it out. You gotta clip him as if he were a regular enemy, not a boss. Okay. That actually makes some sense, considering, that you know, the way the game works. And that this is not, like... I mean, it's not that advanced of a game, you know? So while in the Steam version, you want him to appear on the top, in this version, it seems you kind of... Alright, that time I didn't hit him. You kind of want him to appear in the middle, I guess. Oh god, what the fuck? I had, like, the best attempt ever, and then the worst. <laughs> what is this? Y'all saw that, right? Like, it was fine. I was like, okay, you clip him and it does a, a ton of damage, and then all of a sudden, I can't get it again. Okay. I don't think you can hurt him without taking damage. Fucking really. You know what sucks is that, um... One thing that I'm used to, and this is my fault, this isn't the game's fault. One thing that I'm used to is having Adel be able to walk at two different speeds. Where I can hold a button to go slower for more precision. And this this doesn't have that, because that's more of a modern conv- Motherfuck. Why up here there? Come on. Come like over here. Like in the middle would be good. I did a lot of damage, but I took a lot of damage, and I can't access the menu right now to use that heal potion. I think I'm gonna need to equip that heal potion. Fuck. No, leave me alone! Jesus! He spent so much time as uh, bats. This fucking guy. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna equip the heal potion so that I could use it if I need it. Because I, I don't think I can now damage him at this level at least. So let me go into here. And there it is. Alright. I should have saved it. I'll save it here. Yeah, you have to do damage with your face. <laughs> That's true. There's so much randomness too. Like I can imagine that this guy does wreck speedruns a lot. Because of how random, like where he's going to appear, how long he stays as bats. And I can't move diagonally. Oh god, leave me alone, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He hasn't turned into his friggin' full form yet. Yet. Oh my god, he still hasn't. What is he doing? Oh my god. Just fucking murder me at this point. What does it even matter? It took him the entire time to turn into the full va vampire form that time. That's what I'm talking about, randomness. Yeah, that was trolly. I come here, you know, basically having it figured out. Not perfectly, but basically having it figured out. And having the potion equipped. And he's coming at me with some, some fuckness where he won't... Alright, that could have been better. Could have been worse, too. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Wait, can I not use the potion during battle? I can't use it during battle. I literally tried, right there. Alright, so the potion's useless. We'll just have to get lucky and hope that he doesn't continually stay in bat form. And do shit like that. I didn't even hit him there, what the fuck? I tried to clip him. Ah, just, just kill me, just kill me. Alright, I'm getting pissed off now. Gray, you never answered me. What level were you when you fought this guy? How long does it take to look up a YouTube video? 
do I have to look at your channel? It'll because trust me, it'll be a lot faster for me to look at your channel. Oh my god, this fucking guy. Damn it. Oh. Well, can you, like, tell me, like, you know, like, is, was the life meter about where it is, you know? Like, because that's... You could look at the number of experience points displayed on screen and... Oh, okay. You can't stay still at all. Like, because I hit the wall... Just kill me. I hit the wall, I wasn't moving anymore. And Adel stopped attacking. Like, you see, like, it tells you how many experience points I have. How many experience points did you have when you were trying to do this? It says it right on the screen. Because I've been going through this very quick and... I don't want to attack him when he's down there. Ah, oh, fuck. 2,500? Okay, so you... So you had 2,500, or it was, uh, that you needed 2,500 for level up, like I have. Yep. I'm getting annoyed. I did this one great, amazing attempt, and then died, and I haven't been able to fucking damage him since. You had over 25. So you're only one level higher. That's not... I wouldn't consider that a significant difference. You have to get lucky, and I was hoping that it wouldn't be the case in the Turbo Graphics version, but... It is. Eventually, they're going to make a remake of East that... where you don't have to be ridiculously lucky, and I just had an idea about how to attack him. I had, a, I had an idea. Oh my god, why didn't he freaking come together? Now I'm... Alright, I have an idea and I can't even fucking try it out because he won't come together. You're right, that was assy. Oh, Alright. So I have another thought. It looks like... The part of him that damages me the most is his wings. Oh my god, can you please? Holy shit. Oh my god, and he still hasn't come back. That's fucking... That's ridiculous. Yeah, he is- he's deliberately trolling me. I have yet to be able to fucking... Like, he's not even letting me try to attack him now. Oh my god, why didn't he- You fucking turn into your normal self. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, okay. That does work. Okay, so I found the trick. The trick is to just swipe him. Instead of going vertically, go horizontally. His feet are vulnerable. I just have to get a little lucky now. Oh, the guitar solo, though. Hit the feetsies, that's right. Gibbs, can you get off of me, please? Refueling in Top Gun. That's funny. It is like that, I guess, in a way. Defeated, yeah. Yeah, look at how much damage I did compared to how, much, how little I took there. That's the trick. Alright, we found the strategy. Oh, okay, I was a little high that time. Oh, one more good swipe like that and I got him. Oh god, you fucking asshole. You actual piece of shit. <gasps> no, you piece of I was too high. I keep worrying that I'm not gonna hit him, but at least I know how to do it now. We, we figured it out, so now I don't feel all upset. Cause I'm like, th there's a trick, you know, it, it can't be completely luck based. There's no way I'm gonna be able to hit him down there. 
So actually, it's not that different from the Windows version where you want him to appear at the top of the screen. Oh, that was not good. I took too much damage. No, I'm not going to win this one, so I might as well just, yeah. Yeah. The pro yeah, the issue is, Nensen, that in the in the version that I'm more used to, Adol doesn't go through the boss like that. He bounces off the boss when you when you hit him. No, I'm not gonna try. This guy is a satchel of Richards. Oh god, really? And then he didn't even turn into himself. What the f Okay, I had a good thing going. I had a good thing going. <clears throat> and you know, like, it's so luck-based in a sense because you're waiting for him to coalesce. And look at that. I did a lot of damage, but I'm, I'm practically dead, so I might as well just... Bob Persis? That's... That's a new one. I've never heard Bob Persis before. I mean, I like it. I just... I mean, the one where I almost killed him, he was turning into full form a lot. God, you piece of shit. Come on. No? Really? You're gonna fucking make me do this shit? Hmm. There's almost no margin for error on that. Damn it, and I didn't even hit him that time, because I was, like, slightly higher than I should have been. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Got me in the corner. Mother of fuck. Double mother of fuck. Triple mother of fuck. Oh, hamburgers. Now, don't appear down there, okay? Oh my god! There's like parts where he's taken up the entire screen almost. Look at that. Uh, just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Yeah, I mean, and I, I, I have yet to play a version of East Gray where I didn't hate this guy. At least he hasn't, like, uh, been a recurring boss. He's only been East One, you know? No, didn't even hit him that time. Jesus. Oh my god. Well, I'm not getting out of this alive. Yeah, well, that sucks. We're just gonna keep trying. We'll get there. What the fuck was that? I hit him like once and he annihilated me. Okay, did his weak point move? I'm just gonna leave. Oh wait, you actually can do that? No way, get fucked. I was joking when I did that. Get fuck off. Fucking really? Oh my god, leave me alone. I was only joking with I'm gonna leave. Okay, good hit. Good hit. I'm gonna like do a fucking math equation that time. Oh no. No! Oh my god. It looks like it does reset. I mean, the treasure chest reappeared. This is the longest I've lasted against him because I'm in the fucking guitar solo. Oh, God! I don't think I can win now. Fuck. Jesus, what the fuck? He won't, like, fucking... He won't just 
come together once now over me. That didn't work. See, that one didn't go so well. Yeah, the, you can never fault the music. Oh my god. And of course you'd appear in a spot that it's literally impossible to kill you. Or even damage you. Well, I'm not gonna win. I finally figured out how to damage him, and he won't fucking appear. Like, he just chases me around his bats for, like, the whole time. And when he does appear, he appears in a spot where it's impossible to hit his feet. You're gonna appear there, really? Okay. Over here. Come, like, to the middle. That would be good. Alright. No. He pretends like he's gonna... No, I don't want you on the fucking edge like that. Wow, that actually worked out alright. Okay. No, oh, God, really? Why? 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 I hit one good shot and then bullshit. Alright. I might just decide to level up again. Ah. Really? Such a stupid boss, like... Like, what would be cool is if, like, he... Like, when he came together... See, the bats are way fred out. They, they take up half the screen. It, is if he came together and, like, threw some fireballs at you or something, you know? Like, gave you something to do. And, like, stayed like that for, you know, a few seconds at least. Not being able to walk diagonally is really fucking killing me here. Oh god. Alright, not not too terrible. Yeah, yeah, good good for you. I hope you're proud of yourself. Piece of shit. You're gonna appear down there? Yeah. Alright. Oh god. Piece of fucking shit. Are you kidding me? But it's always been that way. Like in every version, he's always been harder than the last bosses. Like Dark Fact, you can kill in seconds if you know his pattern. Well, I don't know, it might be harder. In Dark Fact might be hard in this version because you can't. Because he moves diagonally and you can't move diagonally. So, look at that, I couldn't- there was no way to avoid that shit. I'm taking too much damage. Dark Fox a pussy, really? Okay. And, uh... Well, if you find anything that I'm unaware of now, I'm very happy to hear it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You please stop fucking with me? Look at this shit. Yeah, uh, I did so much damage, but I took so much damage. Alright, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna take... We're gonna give Noun a chance to, um... Maybe find something out. And I'm gonna level up. You're finding your conclusion and wondering why this is so fu Yeah, I mean... Yeah, and Darm... Like, they give you, like, in, at least in East 2 on PC, they give you all the tools you need to kill Darm very easily. And Darm's obviously going to be the final boss of this game. So it's kind of like, yeah, like, why is this random vampire in a cave harder than the last boss of both East 1 and 2? I'm all, man, I'm only getting one experience point per... I wonder if it was easier in the Japanese version? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, no, this would take too long. I'm only getting one, one XP. Straight up into the... Yeah, I tried that, though. Because that's what you do in the Steam version. You go straight up into him. 
But so far, the, like, literally the best thing that I've been able to do is swiping his feet. That's the best thing that I've been able to do, but I, I yeah. Trying to level up would take too long here. And you know what? I'm going to equip the power ring because the shield ring doesn't seem to be helping me at all. So if I'm not going to take less damage, like, cause it, the shield ring is really just to deflect the occasional blow, which you can't really do with this guy. I might as well try and do more damage. Oh my god. Do more damage to him. Why did I hit him there? Why did I not- Just fucking kill me. Why did I hit him there? Yeah, I think, like, basically what Noun just pasted is, is the truth, is that this is just a shitty boss. It was the first game in the series, and I don't think they realized how crappy this boss was. Let's try it. See, I tried going right up him. Nothing happens. I might as well just let him kill me now. Gibbs, get off of me. My god, dude. How many times I got to push you away before you get it? You know, it's just a, it's just a shitty boss. So if you guys are going to hang out with me while I try to get lucky here, because that's what it's going to come down to, is that eventually I'll get lucky. It's not skill. It's luck at this point. And I'll get this guy. This is worse than Nightmare Mode on the PC version. Oh my fucking god, I can't even get away from him. Now I don't- now I'm trapped. And you're gonna pe- you're in the corner where I can't hurt you. Ha- <laughs> You're still going over your footage, dude. Just look at the video where you fought him. I mean, it, it's like- <laughs> There's not a lot of footage. I, I can't even... Yeah, there's no way they tested this right. And it's crazy because the rest of the game is so good. Now, in the remakes... Let's talk about the PSP version and the Steam version. This is still a monumentally shitty boss. But he's not this bad. Like, there's a very distinct trick that you do and it works. It's still hard, but... I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I really don't. Like, I thought, every time I think I have it, I do something that works really well, and then it just stops working. Because I could be honest, I could bring up East one on, P on PC now, and why didn't that hurt him? And go through Boss Rush and show you that this guy is not this ridiculous. Oh my god, why is he staying in bat form so long? Nah, there's no, the virtual console versions are just emulated. There's no way it's different. Alright. I did some damage, alright. And I just realized I forgot, I neglected to put the power ring on. There's just too much RNG with this boss. Oh, I hate when he does that, then I don't know where he's gonna go, and I get nailed. Why are you still bats? And I I did the same exact thing I did the first time. Nothing. Oh my god. You keep telling me you're looking up videos, but you're not giving me any, any information from the videos. Oh, what the fuck. Do I have East 1 installed? Hold on a second. Because I'm kind of curious. I just... If I have East 1 installed, I might bring it up and do the boss rush just to show you guys that I'm not a fucking idiot. I might not have it installed, though. Oh, I only have East 2 installed? Oh, that's bad pie. Alright.
Oh my god. Well, I'm not- I tried to go up the middle and nothing happens. You know what, I think... I think the weak spot's the dick. And I'm just finding a way to occasionally hit it. Ah, uh, now I'm fucking trapped. He's- you just gotta hit him- stab him in the dick with the silver sword and... It's just trying to hit that dick. Oh, if only I could use the frickin' potion right now. Damn it! Oh, hey, the Matt, 523, how you doing? Yeah, I... I, I, I don't know, like, I've never... I've played multiple versions of... East one, and I've never had such a hard. And I've liked this Turbo Graphics version, but I've never had such a hard time with the vampire. Even on the PC version, on fucking what do you call it? Alt Nightmare mode. All right, I did a lot of damage that time. Fucking asshole. That time I didn't hit him at all. At all. Not even. What the fuck? I went- oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I can't do anything. I might as well just let myself die. Now see, no, it's not like the Yellow Devil, Matt. I'll tell you why, because the Yellow Devil has a pattern that you can memorize. Every time the Yellow Devil does his thing, it's exactly the same. Get his dick, you believe in me? <laughs> ah! Okay, wow, that worked out way better than I thought it was, because I was way high up. By the way, we have some new faces in the chat. Can we get, like, a, one of my mods to do, like, a Discord link and an invite to my Discord for anybody who might want to join? Fuck you guys! And that time I did the exact same thing and it didn't work. The exact same thing. The first time I took off, like, a third of his health. The second time, he took off most of mine. Fuck. By the way, is JB good? Is, is your name like a reference like Johnny B. Good? Every time it reforms the hit point is random. It might be. It might be random, which is really fucking terrible. I was just like, let me just try and just do like kamikaze on him. And I did hit him. Nensen, I'm starting to think you might be right about the hit point, like where you hit him changing. Thank you, Noun. That's my Discord if you guys want to join. Right, well, if that happens, I might as well just die. Oh my god, you guys. I definitely need some encouragement right now, you guys. I am starting to feel despair. I feel like I suck at East, and that's not true. You're already a part? Okay, that's cool. Thank you for the bits, Terry! Don't give up, I'm trying not to. I don't plan on it, but... Holy fucking shit, the guy was barely touching me and he took off half my health! He hasn't yet coalesced. Alright, well, I heard him, but he's gonna- I'm gonna die way before he does. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Is he coming together? No, he's not. Oh, I'm dead. That's- that was rude. These bats suck at me, so. Uh... Clipping him vertically just as he opened. I mean, I've done that to great success. 
If you remember, the first time that I really heard him was doing that exact thing that you described, and then it never worked again. I'll try it again. If I can get him to not take up the entire fucking screen as... It kind of worked. I took massive damage, and then and then I'm, I'm practically dead, so... No, you cannot attack when he's in bat form. You can only attack when he's... All the bats are together as one thing. Like, when he's a swarm, he can hurt you, but you can't hurt him. The problem is he keeps appearing near the edge, so no matter where I'm going through him, I'm going all the way through him and then hitting a wall, and then I'm not moving, therefore not attacking. Alright, that was not bad. Like, when he appears in the middle like that, I'm able to do some damage. Oh my god. Stop faking... Stop being a faker. You're a faker. You're a faker. Faker the McJuggernuggets. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody likes you. Alright, it could have been worse. Fucking... Ah, uh, I panicked. Bad hurting would be useful, but is it possible? I'm actually just kind of remembering a little trick from the Steam version. Is to kind of... Not stay- not try to get too far from him. Nah, fuck it. At least RPGs have infinite lives. That's real, son. That is so real. How many times have I died to this piece of shit? Yeah, no. If I kind of stay close to- alright. Ah, not bad. Alright. Okay, I think... I think I might have something here. Come on. What you got? Got him! I figured I had to manipulate him a little bit. And I leveled up twice. The, the luck was still there. Like, it was still luck hitting him. But getting him to coalesce, I remembered how to manipulate him. Ah. <sighs> And there's Volume Dabby. You better believe we're gonna save it. That was crazy. Finally, right? Alright, let's get the fuck out of this place. Uh, let me look at my... No, not that. My inventory. I only have three books of these. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for... Be not being like, oh man, this guy ain't shit, I'm leaving. He can't even beat a boss. Another room? I could check. I'm so eager to be out of here, but I... I got the Book of East, what else is there? Hmm. I don't think there's another room, but I'll check it. Piece of shit, there we go. Talking about like oh wait you're right uh wait what do I do here no there's just an altar here I don't think you can actually do anything here All right. Oh, now you're funny as fuck. What a pointless room. Sorry, my nose is itchy. And I want to take a glass of a sip of water here. Yeah, all the rest are in Darm Tower from what I believe. Like, the rest of the game is in Darm Tower. Well, East 1 at least. This, this is East 1 and 2. Um, let's see. No, this isn't the right way. I gotta go all the way to the right. Because <clears throat> there's really nothing else to do other than go into Darm Tower and get to East. 
Where the fuck am I? I'm I'm just like wandering. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe I do need to go that way. It's okay. We'll get some experience points along the way. Yeah, whenever you see that face, Moogle, that's like sarcasm face. Oh, see, I think Twin Head is easy. Like, there is no boss in the entirety of the East series that is as annoying as that fucking bat. Like, even fighting, um, Dallas Dal in, uh, East Origin was not nearly as bad as that. And Dallas was hard. And when you're seeing the phoenixes, you know you're close to the... Uh, 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 there we go. Thankfully, this is a very short trip. Great comic shit X-Men. Oh, Dark Phoenix. I haven't seen Dark Phoenix. I kind of want to see it, even if it is shitty. Just because I've seen all the other ones. But then again, I don't necessarily take anybody's opinion. Like, I remember when X-Men Apocalypse came out, like, I I thought it was dope. I, I thought X-Men Apocalypse was great. Like, it, no, was it as good as First Class and, um, you know, Days of Future Past? No, but I, th I still think it was, like, a good movie. And you have, like, knobheads like S-Serpent declaring that it was a shitty movie based on basically nothing. He was like, I don't recognize any of the characters. I'm like, alright, what is it? It's like fucking like Storm and Angel and like 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 are, it's the same fucking X Men there's always been. What X Men Last Stand? Oh, that game was, that 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 fucking movie movie sucked ass, dude. You understand the language of nature, don't you? This is not the Rota Tree, but you can talk to Big Trees. My name is Rota. Let me tell you a secret of hysteria. There was a silver sword buried at the foot of my brother. Yeah. What's funny is that that other tree is in a completely different location in the uh, remakes. It was okay. No, it was not okay, dude. That movie sucked. You know what? Actually, it would be quicker to go to... Um, is epic. There's no reason to go back to the first town. Uh, we're on book one. We're uh, we're actually headed to the, uh, Chris. But welcome to the stream, by the way. We're heading to the. Um... Ooh, yeah, Serpent was very much stuck in the X Men cartoon area, right? But um, we uh, we're headed to basically like what is the final dungeon of book one? So I don't know the mat. I really thought the third X Men. I thought it was shitty, but um, uh, that's why I'm kind of curious about. Oh wait, I can't just go into Darm Tower. I gotta like talk to the right characters, right? What do I gotta go like the mayor or like where? I gotta find uh, what's her face, Fina, right? Oh, she's still here. Hmm. Yeah, East One is a short game, but Darm Tower, the final dungeon, is very, very long. Uh. I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do right next. Oh, you have the Book of East. Let me read it to you. All right, here we go. The carnage came quickly, and with no warning, lava flowed through the land, and soon all was ablaze. I'll tell you what else is very long. Ooh, my. We believe the creation of Cleria was the source of this violent act of terror. Therefore, we buried the Cleria deep beneath the ground. If the Cleria is ever unearthed, the same tragedy will strike East again. Alright. Did we do Toba? I forget. One day a wave of terrible violence came upon East and our lives were ripped apart. The prosperity of East began with the creation of a magical metal known as Cleria. Yeah. On the highest mountain stands Solomon's Shrine which symbolized the great wealth of East. 
the land of East ruled by two goddesses and six priests. The goddesses were embodied, the embodiment of our health and happiness. You know, what's interesting is, um, apparently, they've been talking, uh, like Disney, they've been talking to Hugh Jackman. They really want to do um, Hulk versus Wolverine as a movie. The remaining books must be in the Darm Tower. That place is a festering nest of evil. You may ask my son Gobin to help you get to the tower's entrance. I can see that you are well built and smart. I think you will be okay. Yeah, I mean, like, in Hulk vs. Wolverine is, like, a classic... Like, there's a lot of people associate Wolverine with the X-Men, but, like, he first appeared in a Hulk comic, and the two of them have... There's been a lot of many amazing battles between the Hulk and Wolverine. There was even a Hulk vs. Wolverine animated movie at one point. Alright, so we just gotta go talk to Gobin now. Apparently, they've also been talking to Giancarlo Esposito to possibly play Professor X. But you gotta take these rumors with a grain of salt. Personally, I was kinda uh, hoping for Colin Firth to be Professor X, but once I heard the name Giancarlo Esposito, I'm a fan of his. I think he'd be great. Oh, I have heard about your bravery. Oh, you're talking. You're going to Darm Tower to find the book, aren't you? The locals here call it the Tower of Death. Sudden voice acting is sudden. Why. The door only opens from one direction, so none of the gruesome creatures inside can creep out. Once you go in there, you'll never be able to get back out. If you are really as brave as they say you are, then the entrance to the tower is at the back of this house. The voice acting has been very good in this, Chris, to be honest. Like, okay, this voice isn't the most amazing, but... Wow, it just... I didn't even have to walk to the tower, it just put me in there. Alright. Oh, yeah, baby. I love this song. Alright. Hold on one second, guys. That 80s jam, right? Oh god! I, I should have paused it. I'm sorry, I was looking at something else. Well, the TurboGrafx-16 didn't use cartridges. It used, uh, basically... They were called Who cards, which were kind of like the version of SD cards that exist back then. Um, the, the game was way ahead of its time. But, um, yeah, this was for the CD add-on. This actually was the pack-in game for the CD add-on, believe it or not. <laughs> Yelling! Ah, uh, yeah. Give me a second, guys. I just... I'm just dealing with something unrelated to the stream here, quick. Motherfucker, really? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, sorry. I'm... Um. Is AJ really still having a fit about pepperoni? There's no way. It, should I... Wait, hold on. Did they post or something now? Well, we did eventually get Rondo of Blood. Just, you know, not... Okay. Sorry. Let me, uh... Since I did get nailed there, let me, um... Heal up. Oh, okay. No, I think, I think honestly, I think AJ is going to realize it's funny. Just not right away. Oh, 
Oh, this is the basement. Okay, I don't need to go there yet. What do you mean not a great version of it? Yeah, this is a great, great tune. Oh god, you guys, you ain't playing around. Da, 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 da. Oh, if they keep adjusting themselves to where I am, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, AJ was like, oh, I'm gonna fucking get it. Like, if AJ was really angry, they wouldn't have messaged me with, I'm gonna fucking kill you, I'm gonna come to your house and shit on all your stuff, you know. Just, just, just not talk to me, you know. But, um, yeah. Alright, here's a heal potion. An evil ring. I think we need that at some point. And the mirror. Yeah, but it was still a great game that we, you know, kind of got denied for like a long time. The evil ring is cursed, but you you need it at one point. But another another indication that this is a, a CD game is like the music. Like, listen to how clear that is. All right, this should take me up to the third floor. Wait, I'm actually outside here. I think I can heal without the heal ring. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope. I hope Hideo Kojima is happier where he is, and that he can just make his weird games. You know. That is true, the evil ring will kill you pretty quick without, um, I forget what the other thing's called, but level up! Okay, I know there's a guy hidden here. Should I try to find him now, or...? He might not be here now, um... Oh my god, oh no! I should I didn't realize how much damage I was taking. Where am I? Oh, I'm in here, okay. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> My bad. Wait, it's probably faster to go this way. In the Steam version, climbing up the outside of the tower is awesome. Because I definitely need to like fight more enemies and like level up a bit because you it shows um, the progression from day to night because they you know there's a whole thing in the remakes where Adel is like they tell him that we're, we're giving you a day to go into the tower. There's a heal potion. All right. All right. Oh, hello. So I was like, I was like, oh, I know that there's a hidden corridor there on the third floor that I can access with the mask of eyes, but I was just like so swarmed by enemies. Possibly the mat. That, that, that's very possible, but I think that the way that it all went down, I mean, because you think about it, like if if the PlayStation had not won that, um, that wrong thing. That generation, they may not have made like PlayStation 2, and you know what I mean? Like, like I think honestly that like everything happened the way it did for a reason. That's probably faster to go the other way. I'm probably gonna keep the heal ring on for a bit, even though it, uh, might, I won't be deflecting as many hits. That's gonna make things easier. But I got I got to take things slow now. It... It's, 
the N64DD was never going to be successful, and I'll tell you why. The technology used to make it was outdated before it even came out. It was it was basically the Famicom disk system in the late 90s, and there was no reason for such a thing to exist. See, like, I'm scared to put the Mask of Eyes on in a place with these dangerous-ass enemies. Level up. Heal, 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 heal. God, they do so much damage. Run away. I get a lot of experience from those guys, though. Because if I put the Mask of Eyes on there, I feel like I'm definitely going to die. Well, I know we never got the Famicom Disk System, but... Like, even the disk system wasn't a hugely successful thing. It was actually a bit of a failure. Add-ons are, like, almost always a bad idea. Like, Turbo Graphics managed to make it work. But, like, what you're asking people to buy basically a system at full price that requires the use of another system. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out here and um just grind a bit. Because I'm getting a lot of experience from these guys. Yeah, and I mean Sega did it twice with the Genesis. They did the 32X and the Sega CD and and then there were some games that required both. Like there was a version of Night Trap that was a 32X Sega CD game. completely safe out here yeah I, exactly you need you need to have like a, I think it's a cartridge it, it, well actually it's a CD but it requires the 32x to be put in there like yeah corpse killer was another one like like why would they do that it's just it's not a good idea very close to leveling there we go Level the fuck up. Alright, let me just... Let me save it first before I attempt this. And what I want to do is... Throw on the Mask of Eyes. Oh, there it is. Uh, no! No! Go, get in there! Okay. Take it off. No, 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 no. Oh, God, I can't... Just put something else on, like the crystal. All right. Oh, he is here. Okay. Who are you? Did... There's no way I'm saying that name. There's no way I'm saying that name, okay? Did Dogi send you? Well, if you don't know Dogi, then I don't want to know you. I'm sorry, but I just don't have time to talk now. I've lost my eagle idol. All right, so there's no reason to talk to this guy just yet, but I did want to show you that that's where he is. Yeah, like, Sega just made so many mistakes. Rushing the release of the Saturn was a terrible, terrible error. Oh my god. Just, whatever, it doesn't matter. Treasure box key. Oh no! Well, at least I just saved it. <laughs> Alright. They call him Colin because he has a big Colin. That's probably funnier in your head, Wayne. Oh my god, these guys kill me so fast. But that's why I want to grind against them. There's no joke with Colin. It's a mistranslation. The guy's name is Dogie. In every other East game, and in every other version of this game, he's known as Dogie. D-O-G-I. And I knew that the translation on this was going to be a little wonky when I first started it. But I didn't expect them to get, like, Dogie the Wall Breaker's name wrong. He's a minor character in this game, but he becomes a major, major part of the East series afterwards. Well, if you think that's... Actually, the worst translation error in all of East is the first time they ever localized East to the um, US, which was the 
Sega Master System version of East 1. It did not include East 2, just East 1. And, um... They didn't even get the main character's name right. Like, the main character's name is Adol. Sometimes they mispronounce it in voice acting as Adol, but it's it's Adol, A-D-O-L. But they named him Aaron, A-R-O-N. All right, heal up. Another major character in this game is Re, who's, uh, for some reason in this version, is named Lair. So that's another one that I don't quite understand. Yeah, I don't mind hanging out here to level up a bit, because it's a long-ass dungeon, and I'm going to need the, the level ups. Maybe, yeah, that might be the case, Moogle, where they just thought Dogie was like too weird of a name, and they wanted to give him like a normal name. Adolf? I don't think they would have translated it as Adolf. All right, I'm getting less experience from these guys now. So let me... I think it's time to move on. After I heal, that is. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Well, Eggman and Peach, there were very legitimate reasons why they were renamed. Does Aaron evolve into Lyron in the Master System too? Yeah, and then when you get East Three, it's 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 Agron. Uh, let's save it. That's funny though. Okay. More of these pieces of shit. That's okay. Oh my god. Alright, let's just go, go, go. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's empty. Alright, that's great. I'm glad there's an empty chest there. Alright. So much for the fourth floor, right? Uh, do I go this way or the other way first? Let's go this way first, I think. This is where the path splits. It's the first time where the path splits. Uh, oh god. <laughs> like, oh lord! He coming! He coming, lord! Hold on one second, guys. Let me let me just pause this. Fig you love figment newtons and milk? I what does that have to do with anything, dude? What, what are you even talking about? Alright. Best one kept in a... Hmm. You know, I haven't had fig newtons, fig, fig newtons in a really long time. Oh god, that guy wrecked me. Hold on. No, I get that you're eating, I just don't know you. Didn't they rename some of the Final Fantasy VI characters? Well, uh, Tara was the big one. Her name in Japanese was Tina. Because in Japanese, Tina is a very unusual name. But, um, and they wanted to give her an unusual name because she's an unusual character. But in English, Tina is not an unusual name. It's a common name, so they renamed her Terra to be a bit more fantastical. And this chest is empty, too? Why are so many of the chests empty in this freaking game? Tina Turner. Yeah, that's real. Alright, so that was like a waste of time, but... I'm gonna check the other side of this floor. I There's not supposed to be anything there, but... Yeah, it sounds like something like Earth Terra. Yeah, but the thing is, like with Terra, like it sounds like a fantasy name. Or, you know, it's it's unusual. Whereas Tina is a very exotic sounding name to a Japanese person. So that was like the big one for Final Fantasy VI that they actually hold on. Edge was Edward. Well, actually, I believe that the canon is that his name is Edward, but Edge is his like ninja name. Oh yeah, I'm actually getting good experience from these guys, so I might as well. I'm not that far from a level up.
Like, I don't think his name is literally Edge. But I think the reason that they never went into him being Edward is because Final Fantasy IV had an Edward. And they, I don't think they wanted people to have any kind of confusion. Alright, level up. Let's see. I just want to see how much... Okay, now I'm still getting six, which is quite a lot. Edge of sketch. Yo, Nansen. Need to stop with that wit. It's a little too lit. I'm joking. I'm joking with you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Sorry that you guys are watching me grind right now, but it is kind of necessary, A, and you get to enjoy sweet, sweet tunes, B, so, you know, sorry, not sorry. Too sharp. This is really making me think of those really intense parts of Hide Light. <laughs> I mean, it's a better game, but still. Broccoli in the microwave? What? You don't cook broccoli in- You don't cook broccoli in a microwave, Gray. What are you doing, man? You're gonna ruin my favorite vegetable. <laughs> oh god! Oh, damn it. Frozen broccoli. Oh, like in, in the, the bag where you... <sighs> Fuck. Where am I now? Alright. Shitty chicken and broccoli. Damn it! And I leveled up a few times. I, I, I need to remember that every time I level up to save it. I never played Virtual Highlight. I've only played, like, the first three games. Virtual Highlight is actually... Oh, it's not the right way. Uh, Virtual Highlight is actually a remake of the original Highlight, done in like a really shitty 3D. Like, Virtual Highlight sucks. It's a terrible, terrible game. Um. Yeah. Alright, wait. This was like, what, an empty chest? Yeah. But I've played the original trilogy. The only one I've beaten was the original Highlight. Well, we don't speak that name here. Yeah, no, the steam and bag thing, I understand that. I was just imagining him putting, like, like a chunk of broccoli in a bowl and microwaving it, and then just, like, eating it with his hands like an animal. I do like broccoli. No, he's not been redeemed. There's, there's nothing that's been redeemed about him, Matt. I watched that video of his where he basically said, well, I don't remember anything, and, you know. And, and you know what's interesting about what Progera did with his bullshit apology? Um is that he accused the people who accused him of impropriety of, um... He, he even explained the technique, he, which is called poisoning the well, which is where, basically, before you say any kind of facts or anything, or produce any kind of evidence, before you produce the evidence, you give an opinion, and, and that poisons the well against the other person. So... He described it, he said, oh yeah, they poisoned the well. And then he proceeds to use that exact technique, like, not even a minute later in that video of his. And I was just like, does he think his audience are a bunch of morons that he describes what poisoning the well is and then actively does it? And, uh, and sadly, from what I saw from the comments, most people were on his side, which to me makes it think that they just wanted to side with him because he was the guy with the penis. Oh god. Yeah, this is bad. Oh god, you fucking asshole. Just let me buy so I can go out and heal. No, it's okay, man. I'm not I'm not angry or anything, but I'm just letting you know that like you won't find pro Jared fans in here. And, and the other thing is that he, he talked exclusively about only one aspect of the controversy and not the fact that he cheated on his wife. He pretended like, yeah, oh, yeah, that's what we do, we cheat on our wives, you know. And I'll be honest with you, I've, I've never liked him. 
And it's funny because I was listening to one of my really old videos on YouTube once. I was listening to it was the list critics, and I remember it, it's this was years before this controversy happened, and somebody had brought up Pro Jared in like uh, they sent in like a list of like their favorite YouTubers, and he was on there. And I said way back then, I think it was 2016, that I find him to be creepy. And that, like, I feel like he really wants to show you his penis. Like, I don't know, just look at his face and it- oh, don't load. And I'm like, there's a guy who very much wants to show you his dick. But you know what, if he wants to continue to make videos, that's his prerogative, and if people want to watch his videos, that's their prerogative. But, oh, okay, I went from, like, full health to nothing. Like, I'm glad I just saved it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, well, I just saved it, so it's no big deal. These guys are strong. That's why I'm leveling against them. Let me get, like, one more level up, and then I'll try to move on. Okay. I no, I remember seeing his videos back in the day. I think the one that I first saw was uh, him reviewing uh, Quest 64. And, uh... Because I, I was always kind of interesting. Interested in, uh... Did I not answer something now? And I apologize if I did. I, I... Oh, and I didn't, I, just, I didn't notice you there, Noofy. Hey Clint, welcome to stream. Hey Clint, we gotta uh, we gotta record like next weekend. I meant to do it last weekend. Oh, okay, it's not me. But I um I was sick and I I didn't like have a voice for recording. These guys take off a nice chunk of health every time they hit me. But anyway, I I, I found his review of like Quest sixty four and I was very interested because. That's a game that I was interested in because it's like it's an RPG on the N sixty four and it's considered to be kind of bad. Next Saturday you'll be busy. How about Sunday? Uh, we haven't recorded the Pokemon race in a while, but the last time we did, it was it was pretty crazy. We both, like the the episode ended with both of us in a very bad position. You can try for Sunday. All right. I mean, I'll I'll hit you up like a couple of days prior and whatnot to remind you and see if you know feel things out. But uh. But yeah, like, I, I meant to, like, I, I even think the last time you came to one of my streams, I said, hey, let's, let's record this weekend, and then I got so fucking sick. Oh, the broccoli's for your rats? Oh, okay. Doesn't that, does it make them gassy? Do rats fart? I remember once we gave, um, one of my dogs, back in the day, broccoli, and it was, it was like a bomb went off. It was not good. Not good. I gotta assume that rats fart. Alright, I'm definitely killing these guys faster. I need to find that, like, sweet armor that's hanging around in this place. Of course, the shitty thing is, like, there's a whole other tier of armor that you find. There we go, level up. Alright. And then you have to not use it on, uh... On Dark Fact. Was that Aria? No, it was before Aria. It was either Xena or Ares. Uh, wait, let me not save until I'm fully healed. That was old. Oh, yeah, cauliflower. I don't even eat cauliflower because I like broccoli. And yeah, broccoli will give me a little bit of gas, but cauliflower is the worst. And cauliflower doesn't taste nearly as good as broccoli. Guitar solo. Whittly wah! Whittly wah! Cauliflower with cheese. Yeah, but you know what's better than cauliflower with cheese? Broccoli with cheese. You never heard any bark in videos ever, unlike Gibbs? Well, like, Gibbs, like, lives in my room, so. Alright, here's where we get captured. A sudden flash and you feel yourself being transported. You regain your senses and find yourself in prison. So we're actually in the basement now. We were up to, like, the sixth floor. But now we're down to... Yeah. Current X is a thing you can say now. <laughs> oh my god, your current X. Love it. 
Adel is shocked when he checks his belongings and finds that some are missing. All right, so clearly I don't have anything equipped right now. Oh. So they basically, they took my silver stuff. Oh man, I should have bought the big shield because of this part, but I can use the Talwar and all right. Oh, that's right, those empty chests are where they put your silver equipment. This song's called, I Wanna Watch Your Body. Hello, I'm Luther oh, he's talking, L Luther's talking. I was walking through the many corridors and in parentheses, it says, turn, until the break of dawn. I, came across a long I wanna rock your body, baby! Many stone statues lining its walls. Suddenly, an old man appeared in front of me. As our eyes met, he panicked and disappeared into the wall. Soon after, I was caught by the goons. The goons. Goons! Hired goons. Dougie's gonna come through the wall soon. There he comes. There is Dougie! The Italian guy? Carl isn't Italian. He's like Polish, isn't he? Hey there, young man. I'm here to help you. My name is Dougie. Evil lurks behind every corner, so be alert at all times. There's a reason they call him Dougie the Wall Crusher. I know an old man named Rasta. He can tell you the secrets of this tower. Oh yeah! <laughs> Allow me to ask a favor of you. Please bring this to Rasta. He has been searching all over for it. You should take the young guy in the corner with you. This is no place to hang out. So we got the Eagle Idol. Uh, so we're actually in the basement. So Rasta's at the third floor. My equipment is way worse than it was. I'm glad I leveled up a few times. Um, no, there's no reason to go that way. Oh, let me save it. Goddamn doggy motherfuckers. Uh, so I'm definitely not as powerful as I was. But yeah, those empty chests, that's where they put your silver equipment. I gotta make sure to grab it all. Uh, do I wanna go this way or. Oh god, I don't. I think this way first. Because there was an empty chest in here. Oh no, no, it was the other one. You know it's a 16-bit game and you see that shimmering as you walk. Oh god. Maybe I was wrong. I forget which way's which. I'll go this way first, I guess. Bop 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 bop. Bop 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 bop. Oh, no, 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 I'll go the other way first. That's the third floor. I need I need the second floor first. <laughs> Are we listening to a Whitney Houston song? About level 35 for Dark Fact? I mean, I got a while before I get to him, but I'll check. I'm level 24, so we're not, not doing that badly, Gray. Thankfully, even though I love this song, thankfully it doesn't play through the entire dungeon. Just the first third or so. Addles your baby tonight. Oh my god, you fucking guys. My name is not Susan, y'all. Yes. Okay, so one of those chests was an empty chest, so hopefully one of my pieces of equipment is there. Oh god. Alright, get healed, get healed. Wait. Oh, I'm on the timer ring for some reason. Alright. No wonder the enemies are moving around so slow. Oh, they're all empty still. Dip. Alright, well, that's shitty. Why did it default to timer ring? Alright, well, let me let me go find, uh... Lo lo not Luda, uh, what's his name? Rasta. That's not bad damage, considering I'm using the Talwar. Or, I'm sorry, Katana. Ba -da, ba -ba -da. This part's gonna suck, so let me save it. Uh, 
Ah, because the damage these guys do, especially that I don't have my silver armor or silver shield right now. I don't even have a large shield because I never bought it. Who thought Spring Yard Zone's theme in the first Sonic game sound like a Whitney Houston song? Honestly, my knowledge of Whitney Houston isn't enough for me to make that comparison. Right, hold on. Uh, no, not the wrong thing. No! What did I just do? What did I just do? I keep hitting all kinds of wrong- Oh, he's the mirror by accident. Alright. Keep pressing all kinds of wrong buttons. Here, just put like one of the books on there. Hey, what's up, guy? Oh, that sure is my eagle idol. Thank you very much. As a reward, let me give you this blue necklace. Wear it at all times, as it will protect you from some of the worst evils. My name is Rasta. Please remember me. Yeah, I mean, Matt's correct. It's it. That's been an open secret for a long time, and I, if you remember, Gray, I did a whole video talking about it. Uh, so wait, oh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. So I definitely want to equip that because that'll let me. Uh, let me make, just verify that it's equipped. Okay, because that'll let me wear the evil ring when I need to. Alright, I gotta... But hold on, but before I do that, I gotta... Oh my god, I keep hitting wrong buttons. I gotta put the stupid mask of eyes on again. I hate this item. Oh, and then I... <laughs> Fucking cock ass. Are you kidding me with that shit? That's why I saved right before doing this. Wow! Having shitty shield and shitty armor in this part is kind of shitty. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, I, I knew this was going to be rough. Like, until you get your silver equipment back, it's it, you're so vulnerable. And me constantly not remembering which buttons are which in the menu is... It's unfortunate that you can't go through a secret wall unless you have that equipped. Like, you can't just know where it is. Oh god. No, actually, I don't, I don't think you can damage the um, vampire without the silver equipment. I think it's literally impossible. I'm gonna save before I try to go back out, though, because, like, if I re appear and there's an enemy right there, it's gonna fucking murder me. Alright. No. Alright. Booty clap. Booty clap. Woo! So I gotta go to some of those chests that are that were like bullshit before. <clears throat> oh god, really? Chest. There's one here, but I'm trying to heal. It's still empty! Okay, maybe I was wrong. The, those empty chests are just empty fucking chests. Fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, and I didn't save after that. Uh, fucking really? Okay, huh? Okay, inventory. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it, you know what? I, I made a, a grave error, and I'll tell you what it was. Not buying the large shield. Because I was like, oh, I have the silver shield. I don't need to buy the large shield. I forgot there's a whole section of the game where your silver equipment is taken away from you by force. Okay, so that chest is still... In, I, I thought that they, they put the uh, equipment in your empty chest. So apparently it's different in this version, or maybe I'm remembering wrong. 
right, let's uh, let's save it here. Bop. Hey now. Anybody who might be lurking and wants to join my Discord, it is true. If you're not part of my Discord, I highly recommend you join it. We have great discussions. You get pictures of my dogs. Pictures of food. Goose-based humor. And we prank my friends, like the whole epic pepperoni nipples thing. Which I'm still laughing about. Alright, um... I'm still going to go here and look, even though I feel like it's probably a waste of time. Sometimes there are cats, too. Yep. Now, now I'm post the, the pepperoni nipples thing. Yeah, we did it again, Gray. I, like, we did... Well, I, actually, I'm not even sure if you were aware, but the first time we I did pepperoni nipples to AJ was over a year ago. And I had initially planned to, do, to redo the pepperoni nipples prank on the one-year anniversary of pepperoni nipples. And then I didn't do it because AJ was moving, and instead of doing it while while they were sleeping, I thought it might be fun to do it while they were in transit for the move. No, that chest still okay. That chest still empty. I don't need to go there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That saves me the problem of dealing with those fuck ass enemies. And we do have a plan for the next Pepperoni Nipples. Pepperoni Nipples 3, Thick Slice. It's not the best prank I've ever been a privy to, but it was the most fun prank. The, okay. Do you guys want me to tell you the story of the best prank that I ever did? But I will warn you, it is really mean. It was when I was in my early 20s and I was a shithead. <laughs> so... <laughs> but it's funny. I pr it is funny, but if you want to hear the story, I'll tell you the story. I'm heading over to the 6th floor. I mean, I have the necklace. Uh, do I have it equipped? Yeah, we're good. Go for it. Okay, so this actually involved AJ. So there was this girl that, um... Can I attack these guys now or do I... Let me, let me try it. What? No? Oh, they're not behaving like enemies. In the remakes, they actually behave like enemies. So, <laughs> died wool in Minecraft? Oh, okay. Well, this was back in the day, and uh, there was this girl that was annoying the piss out of, um... Yeah, you could, if you can find, tell me where the silver stuff, I, I mean, because I've looked everywhere, but it's apparently somewhere that I haven't been yet. So there was this girl that was, like, annoying the piss out of AJ, and, um... It was, you know, I, I think she was trying to get at him sexually over the internet. And AJ is not having any of that. They're like, ew, you know, because AJ's ace. So anyway, um, there's a boss here, isn't there? Oh, God. Let me see about maybe... I don't know if I want to go ahead here. The silver sword's on 7th floor? That doesn't make sense. Wait, hold on. What about the armor? Oh god, now I don't know where I am. I think, um... Let me just see. The armor's on 13. Oh, the mirror maze, right. Okay. I'm not actually sure where I am right now. Okay, so the girl, like, a AJ messages me and they're like, could you, like, get this fucking girl off my back? Oh, wait, that's where the boss is. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm gonna go back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Because that, that's a boss door. Okay, I kind of know where I am now. You know what, I'm gonna save this story for, like, when I'm about to end the stream, because I really would like to, um... ...to tell it without being distracted.
I think I might have to just fight the boss, but I want to make sure that I'm doing this right, you know? No, I need to go the other way. Yeah, I want to make sure that... Oh, that might be the sword right there. When I'm about to end the stream, I'll tell the story. Because I'm too distracted by the game right now. It's a really good story, this prank, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till we're just about to end it, which is not gonna be that long. Oh. This is a bit different. Wait, what? The layout of this place is like a little different than what I'm used to, so I'm a little like confused right now. Like it's a little bit familiar, but I'm just like, wait a minute. I don't remember that being there. But let me let me get that chest. Uh okay. Is the sword? That's the shield. Okay. Uh. Oh no! You saw that shit? Okay, so they do come to life. That's what I thought, but. Y'all saw that shit? Okay. All right, so I know I'm on the 8th floor, so you said the sword's on the, the 7th, so let me go down. Yeah, that, that was a little nuts. Like, I knew they would come to life, but I didn't think they would be that fast. So before I attempt that the next time, I'm going to put the timer ring on so they won't come at me that fast. Is it over here? Maybe? Oh, this is... Adel, it's me, Dogi. I've been looking for you. I've just heard from Grandma Jevatova. She said there is a unique brooch placed somewhere in this tower. Without it, you can only see a reflection in the mirrors. All right, now it it is somewhere around here. Dogi hands what over? Not that way. Uh, no, nah, the, the the equipment's definitely in chests. I just gotta find it. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna get killed here. It's the sword. Okay. I'm going to get killed. Or at least I can do more damage. Oh, baby. I'm going to go back and kill those guys, though. They have one of the experience points. Alright, at least I have my sword back. Now, and I know where the shield is. Scyther's the next boss. <laughs> Scyther! So I'll just have to remember before I grab the chest to, um... Equip the, uh, the timer ring so that I don't get wrecked. Your favorite Pokemon from Gen 1 was Kabutops? Why Kabutops, just out of curiosity? My favorite Pokemon from Gen 1, which is my favorite Pokemon overall, is Gyarados. In case anybody was wondering. Which I don't, I don't really think anybody was really wondering, but, you know, there you have it. Okay, so we're back on the 8th floor, but I'm gonna go up to the 9th before I fight the boss. Let me save it, too. We must be timely before we grab chests. As in life, now. What do you mean, peek a pool? What's a peek a pool? Grown men should not be asking about their favorite Pokemon. Why not? What's wrong with that? I fail to see the issue. All right, it's over here. Oh, Detective Pikachu movie. No, I haven't seen that. Like, it looked like it might be kind of cute, but. I have a bad history of Pokemon movies. Like, some of those animated movies, I did see some of them because I reviewed them, and they were bad. Like, I'm sorry. They were bad. Oh, God.
Oh, I mean, I'm, I play Pokemon quite a lot, actually. Both for Let's Plays on YouTube and also um, I play some competitive stuff, too. Sometimes I stream competitive battles with the community. All right, let me... Um, first things first, let me save it. So this is going to be rough. Now let me equip the timer ring. Because that should slow those guys down so they can't gangbang me so quickly. Oh god, and they still came at me so fast. What the fuck? Well, at least I saved it. Am I doing something wrong here? Maybe I should just try to, like, get the fuck out as quickly as possible. Oh god, okay, okay, alright. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I, I... I watched the first Pokemon... The first two Pokemon movies for a series I did on YouTube about, you know, movies based on video games. And honestly, I... And I am a fan of Pokemon in general, but I never liked the animated series. And I thought that... The first Pokemon movie is legit, like, one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. The second one was a little better. Like, it wasn't good. Like, there's no way that I would say it's a good movie, but at least it wasn't, like, making me want to claw my eyes out. Alright, so we can't get the armor yet. Let's try and, uh... Glaceon's your favorite Eevee loot. Mm, that's... Glaceon's really cool. Uh, so... Hold on. I'm on the 8th floor, which means we gotta go this way. See, I thought the uh, I Choose You was the remake of the first one, or whatever. Well, Blackenstein is also one of the worst movies I've ever seen. This is also Werewolves on Wheels. Here we go. Scyther! Alright. Okay. He could throw out a, three of those things in this version, huh? Mm, that wasn't very good. Ah, okay. That could have been better. <coughs> Cats and dogs is your... I never heard of that one. <coughs> okay. Jesus. Alright, well, I've taken, like, all the damage now, so... Okay, the way these things are moving is freaking me out. Oh god. If I do this with, like, this little health, I'm gonna be amazed. The fact that he throws out three of them is freaking me out. Ah, uh, oh well. Alright. I did good, but I could do better. The first, like, salvo I got wrecked, so... They're not moving in a normal way. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Got him. It's like he, his, his sides all went off to the right. He was on the left. I'm like, we got him. Two leveled up. All right, let me save it. All right, there's the hammer. Which you need to break a pillar. And uh, the fourth book of East, volume Misa. Can I actually read it or...
because, like, I don't think I can read it. I can try it. Or you know what? Because we're in a special characters that Adol can't read. Hold on. Yeah, no, I can't read it right now. That's okay. Thank you, guys. I was like, mm, go for it. Because what's interesting about that boss is that he can't... Oh, that's right. Re gives you... No, not Re. Is it Re or Fina? I thought it was Fina. All right, well, um... No, right way? Right way, okay. I want to at least get to, like, the next section of the tower, and then we'll end, we'll end the stream. I'll tell you guys the prank story. The greatest prank that I've ever been privy to, and then we'll we'll do a raid and whatnot. But uh, I wanna I wanna get a little further along. Okay, so um, gotta go this way. I still don't have the silver armor, so I gotta be careful about um, getting hit. Oh, the way that they make that a separate room is just freaky. But all right. Bop, 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 bop. Booty clap. Bop, 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 bop. Right, uh, let me see what's through here before I save it. This might be. I don't know. It's. Okay. I thought I was already uh, on to the next area, but apparently not. Wait, hold on. I gotta read some of the chat here. Ah! Yeah, so the interesting thing about that boss uh, is that he can't actually hurt you, only his blades can hurt you. So I find that to be kind of interesting. Okay, so let's, um... Yeah, don't die reading chat, right? Let's try this way first. Okay, wait, no, that's... Well... Yeah, 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 Is this where I use the hammer? I think it is. It looks weird. There we go. That was the one. I think you only, you only have to break the one, right? Oh, did I drop frames? Let me see. Let me check. Oh. Uh, well, it says I dropped like a few frames, but uh, I don't know when that was. It might have been me. Sorry about that, guys. But it, it says I dropped like a couple hundred frames. A little while. I don't know. It doesn't tell me when, though. I only have to break the one pillar, right, Gray? I just want to make sure. Just the one? Okay, that's what I thought. Well, I don't need to de-equip it. Hey, okay, here's Luda. Adel, it's me, Luda Gemma. I heard from an old man named Rasta that a girl had been caught and brought here. He said he will soon be. She will soon be killed. Please save her. You're getting the spinning wheel. Well, if you're getting the spinning wheel, refresh. I mean, somebody tell Moogle to refresh. Is uh? Oh yeah, yeah. I do. I know. I, I know. I have to come back to. I haven't dropped any additional frames. I just checked. So it's uh, whatever issues I was having, I'm not having anymore. Yeah, but now I know you gotta come back to him at some point, uh, or you can't, like, beat East One. But yeah, tell, tell me, oh, thank you, Terry, because I'm like, wait a minute. Alright, so wait, which floor, I think I'm on the, am I on the 11th floor or the 12th? I'm on the 11th floor. I need to go to the other part of the 11th floor. Hmm. Well, we're gonna end it soon, but I, I'm glad I found the pillar pretty quickly to break, because if you... That basically prevents poison gas from killing you later on. Oh. 
Ba 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 ba. Uh, not that way. Oh god. You die already. Deadly mu- Oh yeah, you're right, it was the chimes. But I thought the- I thought it was the chimes that were giving off gas. But you're right, it, it was like the deadly chimes, but the- I don't know, in the remake, the, the, the room is kind of hazy. So it makes it seem like it's also gas. Okay, Moogle. Yeah, we're gonna be ending fairly soon. I, I do want to tell you guys that story. Okay, this is the- Oh. Hold on, something I said set off my Bixby on my phone. Let me turn that off. Okay. Okay, so this is... This is where I can go in here. There's nothing here. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I know, I know. Okay, apparently I don't know. I'm an idiot. All right. That might be later that I come back there. This is the room with the chimes. Did we just walk into Contra? That's real. We walk into Contra, you guys. Wow, 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 wow. I feel like I missed something, but... I'll, I'll be have, coming back there anyway. An audiobook set off your Google Assistant? That's crazy. I love it. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. That one stage from Streets of Rage 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we're finally at the end of this first part, but... Yes! Oh, the music didn't change! That's weird, but okay, we're gonna stop here. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a great story of a great prank. Well, okay, it's kind of mean, but it was a great prank that I uh, was part of back in the day. So let me uh, go over to this screen. Yeah, that you've had a Let's Player set off Hey Cortana. He said 8,000. Wow, that's not even close. Okay, so let me let me shut the game off. That's that's not even close, Cortana. What the fuck? Okay, so um, AJ uh, basically messaged me and said, and this was back on the old AOL Instant Messenger days, and he says, "Can you get this person off my back? Just like but like like prank them or something." And I'm like, "What's the issue?" He's like, "This girl, she's coming at me with all this like cyber sex shit, and and I'm not interested." And um, basically, oh my god, I'm being raided now. Punk Hero Zero, thank you for the raid. Holy shit. Well, we can't end the stream now, right? Let me, um, Punk Hero Zero, thank you so much for the raid. I have a little video to play. I was actually just about to tell a story. But let me, uh, let, I have a video to play for you guys. Just kind of show you guys what we're all about. Let me, uh, show you that right now. I don't care how young you are. I'm going to kick you in the head repeatedly. Ah, brutality! I didn't even know I could do that shit. That was awesome. Get fucked. Oh, that's what I called it? Shit, I'm funny. After she ate the pitchfork, she ate like three tons of beans. And then as she was standing here, she blew it out her ass. He's not even a weenie. He's a full wiener. Like a weenie is like wiener in training. But he's a full wiener. She do be whack. The Gibbsy Noodle. Poop me an egg barrel. Poop me an egg barrel. I never thought I'd hear that or read it. Well, I heard it because I said it. I read it and I said it and I heard it. Uh 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 uh
A goose walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, uh, 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 <coughs> and then the guy died. Ball farts is the insult reserved for dong lords, but only the biggest dong lords are ball farts. Like all dong lords are, all ball farts are dong lords, but not all dong lords are ball farts. If that makes any kind of sense to you, then you're you're crazy. Your mom is covered in white sauce and has a crispy bottom, okay? Just show me what it looks like. I will smash you like a clam on my... Bro. Okay, so thank you for coming in, raiders. I'm sorry that we're actually about to raid somebody else ourselves, but I'm actually about to tell a story real quick. We just got done playing a little East Books 1 and 2, getting towards the end of Book 1 in Darm Tower. Bruh. <clears throat> But anyway, okay, so AJ basically was like, get this girl off my back. She's coming at me with this weird cyber sex shit, and I'm not all about that life. And uh, I'm like, all right, give me her screen name. So I had a lot of different screen names back in the day that I would use mostly to fuck with people. I mean, I had the, the main one, NecroVMX, which is, you know, still my name on YouTube and Discord and, and everything, you know, and right here on Twitch. But um, I had a lot of them, and one of them was, uh, it was called Spirit of Zappa, and it was basically like, as I was really, I still am, really into Frank Zappa and his music, and I um, I wanted to you just, you know, say random shit. Well, laugh, yeah, Laffy Taffy came a bit later, but yeah, Laffy Taffy. That was for, that was specifically for TTLG, and that was a forum thing. But anyway, so I came at this girl just saying a whole bunch of, like, random crap and, like, Frank Zappa references and shit, and... And, and basically, I was like, well, like, if you don't want this girl to, like, talk to you and you don't want her to, like, come at you with, like, all this weird cyber sex shit, why don't you just tell her to fuck off? And AJ's like, she's nice and I don't want to be mean. And I'm like, all right, I'll be the asshole. So anyway, so I come over and I, I start messaging her. And, and I should say that I actually wasn't at home. I was at my, my, my bro Brandon's house at the time. So, so he was there. Um as well oh no 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 wait okay no i was home i was home but i was also talking to him because there was a different prank where i was at his house so anyway i was talking to him at the same time and i was like dude you got to get in on this this girl is is weird like i'm saying the weirdest shit that i can come up with and she's just rolling with it you know so she thinks i'm hilarious and i and i told her that i literally was frank zappa she's never heard of frank zappa in her life she has no idea who frank zappa is and i'm telling her that i'm frank zappa and i'm like you've never heard of me oh wow i had a whole bunch of records and i toured the world and everything you know and i start like linking her to like you know like making sure that i'm not linking her to anything that's going to give her too much information because then she'll see that frank zappa died in 1993 you know what I mean? And this was like, it was like 2005, 2006. It was right around there. So anyway, I <laughs> fucking, um, I should be figuring out who I'm going to raid while I'm telling this story. So anyway, I, uh, I, I had her convinced that I was Frank Zappa. And at the same time, Brandon starts talking to her. And for whatever reason, she got mad, stupid, dummy thirsty towards... Yeah, Google wasn't really a thing at the time. Like it, like it existed, but it wasn't the monolith that it was. So she got mad, dummy, thirsty towards Brandon. She's like, she turned her whole cyber sex initiative away from AJ and targeted Brandon and was like coming at him, like basically saying a lot of dirty shit. And and he's all like, oh, I'd rather get to know you first and this and that, right? So he starts talking to her and. I was like, dude, ask her what kind of music she's into. And then, you know, she's like, oh, well, you know, she's I'm into this and that, whatever. And then she says, what kind of music are you into? See, I'm manipulating things. And then I was, like, I was like, okay, dude, say whatever. Like, you could be truthful, you could make shit up, but you got to make sure that you put Frank Zappa in there. Like, list, like, a whole bunch of bands and singers and shit, and then say, oh, and Frank Zappa. So she, he does that. He's like, oh, I like this and that and the other. And Frank Zappa. And she's like, oh, that's interesting. That's who I'm talking to right now. And he's like, what are you talking about? And she's like, I'm talking to Frank Zappa on AOL right now. Oh, this is definitely a girl, Moogle. I could tell, by the way, that she was talking. But this was a girl. This wasn't like a dude who thinks he can talk like a girl. You know what I mean? So anyway, she, <laughs> she fucking... 
she says, I'm talking to Frank Zappa on AOL. And we timed this perfectly. Where I, uh, where first I have Brandon say, dude, Frank Zappa died in 1993. And then right after he sends that message, I sent her a message where I said, you know, my fans think I'm gone, but I've really just been hiding. And she starts to fucking freak the fuck out. She loses her shit. She starts freaking out. And I'm like, you better not tell anybody, you know, not that anybody would believe you. I've been doing this for a long time. I just release a couple dozen records and then die and disappear for a while. And I put die in, you know, quotation marks. And so now she has, she's thinking that I'm a fucking vampire or something. She got so fucking scared that she logged off and never came back on that screen name. She she didn't even say goodbye to AJ. She just poofed into thin air. Okay, she just she got so scared. She thought she was talking like a ghost or a vampire or something. And I and I'm being like vaguely threatening. I'm like you you better not tell anybody or I'll fucking haunt you or some shit like that. So, oh yeah, she's definitely stupid. Like, cause who would fall for that? If somebody tried that on me, I'd be like, ha ha, it's funny. You got me there for a moment. But anyway, um. Yeah, she was really super creeped out, and she never came back on that screen name. And uh, AJ was just like, wow, what did you do? She fucking vanished. And then I showed him what we did, and he's like, you fucking magnificent bastard. You, you really you really did it. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to do a raid, uh, so let's go over here, and let me go over the schedule for you guys so you guys know what I'm going to be streaming this coming week. Uh, da -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Come and knock on my door. So, join me tomorrow at 1 p.m. We're going to be streaming Injustice 2. Uh, took a little bit of a break from that last Monday. I did not stream because I was feeling sick. But uh, we're back in the saddle again. Tuesday at 8 p.m. We're going to be continuing Undertale. Wednesday at 1 p.m. Dragon Quest 11. Thursday at 8 p.m. Ultima Runes of Virtue. Hopefully we'll be finishing that up. Friday at 2 p.m. More Dragon Quest 11. And then Saturday at 8 p.m. We're going to be starting Star Tropics 2. A game I've only ever played once. I played it for like a couple hours and then like never went back to it. So it'll be really interesting. You've been lurking on Twitch for a few years. Three's company too. So where am I gonna send you guys? Um let's raid Okay, I'm gonna give you guys two choices. I actually have more than two choices, but I'm gonna give you guys two choices. Do you wanna do some Dead by Daylight or some Final Fantasy 14 online? What what do you guys think? Where are we gonna head? And next Sunday will be East. I just haven't made the schedule for that time period yet. Decisions, decisions. Wow, okay, looks like everybody's going for Final Fantasy fourteen. so that means we are going to be raiding Felgoth, which I haven't raided Felgoth in a while, and that also means that it's unanimous. Everybody wants Final Fantasy fourteen. He's going to do the raid dance. Felgoth always does a he does a crazy dance when he gets raided. So we're gonna do it we're gonna do it up. And it might take him like a few minutes to get to the oop. Did I type his name wrong? There we go. Um it might take him a few minutes to get to the raid, like he'll get to like a safe point in the game or whatever, and then he'll do the raid. It's fucking hilarious. It will enrich your life. And you guys know the deal. If you're subscribers to the channel, use the emojis. Oof, 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 honk, honk, honk. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna come up with some better tier two and tier three emojis. Like the Yeet Wolf is definitely gonna be one of them. We're gonna be making a few changes to the emoji structure, um, just to make the tier two and three ones like a little bit more desirable. But um, let's head on over there now. I'll see you guys at Phil Goth's channel. I'll see you guys in the Discord. I'll see you guys tomorrow at one for some uh, Injustice Two, and I'll just see you around in general. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs>